That's fucking bullshit. How the fuck is he hitting me? There's no way that is hitting me. It just feels like the active frame period of this attack happens way too early. So he hits me before the attack is even connected with me. Like, I just don't understand new Capcom's thought process when designing this move. And that somehow hit me? What the fuck? There's just no sense to these- Like, this is the only good thing that third-person perspective does in this game. It just allows you to see the shitty hitboxes at play. Like, there's no way that should have hit me. There's no fucking way that should have hit me. I'm not seeing the contact. And I just feel like the active frame period on that move happens way too early. So I just end up taking damage way too early in the attack. Oh, well, now I'm able to crouch under that move when originally it wasn't working. The sprint counter seems easier to trigger in the th What the fuck? How the fuck did that hit me? God, this game! These fucking lichens, the worst basic enemy type ever made in a Resident Evil game, by far. I don't get it. I don't understand. How can they settle on this? It's like they want you to either use the sprint counter or shoot them in the head at the right moment to stun them, but you can't do that because of the fact that if I'm slightly elevated off the ground, or if I'm on a flat plane that's not registered as a flat plane, and I try to shoot them in the head, it will not trigger the fucking counter. You see, again, how the fuck does that hit me? And again, like, how can I use the counter for actually shooting this guy in the head if it's if it doesn't work properly. It's like right there, it triggered because I'm at a lower altitude. Like I'm I'm at a lower elevation compared to this lichen, so it's just able to trigger properly, but as soon as I get to a higher elevation, it will not work. Look at him just turning like that. That's bullshit. The way he just turns on that axis point to hit me. It's like old-school Resident Evil tech. It's the same kind of crap the enemies do in Revelations. Resident Evil Revelations had the enemies doing the same thing, where they could turn on these access points to do their attacks and just track you, because the tracking is too artificial and not believable in the slightest. That's garbage. I'm going to keep doing this over and over again, just to keep validating to myself that the hitboxes are shit. And there's no thought to what New Capcom's was going through. Like, there's no thought to New Capcom's thought process when designing that move for the Lycans. And again, the only possible way I'm actually going to be able to deal with that move... Is if I do the counter... The counter will not... Okay, I, I think that had phantom range system, that's bullshit. Like, if they're gonna make that move so clunky, they clearly want you to use this. But this only works if I'm standing below the lichen. My elevation has to be lower than the lichen. And right here, it should be a flat surface, but it's not. So watch. Watch this. Okay, that time I hit his arm because doing the counter is even more awkward on the third-person perspective. Oh, it worked that time. I'm guessing because the lichen was raised off the ground. 
because there's a slight elevation upward when he's on that snow. But let's just try this. Let's try this for a second. So I'm right above him. No counter. It's fucking bullshit. Why the fuck does the elevation you're at have any impact on a bullet? A bullet being used to stun a lichen at the right moment. The bullet works independently of height. Why is height a factor to consider with this shitty counter system? How oblivious is new Capcom in regards to these shitty hitboxes and badly designed attacks? Attack and that somehow hit me because it's bullshit. Because that move is so fucking badly designed. Which, let's see that again. Let's see that. Come on, do it. Do fucking do it. Fucking do the off-screen attack. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. The people on QA, they have fucking degrees. I don't have a degree in computer engineering. And somehow I can do a better job than them with actually seeing these shitty hitboxes. And they want you to favor the most rigid of strategies ever. They want you to just shoot everything with the shotgun to stun them. And that hit me somehow. Like, if you don't play the game in one specific way, if you don't, like, deal with the lichens in one specific way, you are just going to be a victim to these shitty hitboxes and badly designed attacks from a crappy development team. And this team that made the shitty hitboxes on this game is handling Resident Evil 4 Remake. So it's gonna be a very similar case, it seems. Once again, how the fuck does he hit me? Again, this is the only reason anyone would ever use the third-person perspective. When I say anyone, I mean me. This is the only reason I'd use the third-person perspective. It's not the fitting for the game. And you can just clearly see how shit the hitboxes are. Wow, look at that! Look at that fucking hitbox! Just as I predicted, it is a, it is a very shitty hitbox. At least these hitboxes make sense. I just want them to do the horizontal attack. Because that one's the most broken attack. Yeah, show me how bad your hitbox is. Show me how bad. Okay, um... That time you could probably argue that it wasn't moving, but I'm, I guarantee you, if I move to the right, it will not work. See? Look at that. Look at that fucking bullshit. Awesome hitbox. Like, did anybody playtest this third-person mode and actually look back at the fucking hitboxes? Like, what is the whole point of putting in a third-person mode if you're not going to fix all the other underlying issues? I don't understand. These fucking developers are so brain dead. They just threw in this third person mode because too many babies whined about not having it included. And all they did was just put it in, but they didn't make sure it actually worked within the framework of the game. And look at that bullshit. Once again, just hits you for no reason. That's bullshit! There is no fucking way that touched me. Let's see this attack. That's trash. Yep, that is not touching me. That is not touching me at all. That's such a load of garbage. And somehow that attack hit me! before he even started swiping. Okay, I, that time, that was the sprint counter. That was the sprint counter that occurred just then. 
So that makes sense. Look at that, he's just hitting me before he starts swiping. Yep, once again, bullshit hitbox. Idiots. Fucking idiots these developers are. Bullshit. All the dumb ways they've tried to justify their horror aspects. Again, fucking bullshit. Like, you can't say I'm just making all this up because you're literally seeing it for yourself. Again, bullshit. <laughs> and you want to know something else? You know, th this trick I use. Watch this. See, this would work on the first person perspective, but not here. So my ability to make the hitboxes seem like they work by aiming with the correct weapon and crouching on the first person perspective doesn't work on the third person perspective so it seems like new capcom values bad hitboxes now for survival horror aspects fucking retarded bull fucking shit bull fucking shit no Fucking way that hit me. Yeah, that, that's not hitting me. That's bullshit. What? Bull fucking shit! That would have worked in the first person perspective! It makes common sense! But this time it didn't work! This is unfucking real! What the fuck? They've really fucked the hitboxes hard on this third-person perspective. Again! How?! What is wrong with these stupid developers?! You can tell this was not an intended camera perspective for the game! But they still went ahead and put it in the fucking update! Like, are they really trying to sink further into the depths of stupidity? Like, do I need to come up with another word that is a synonym to the very idea of stupidity to idiocy? Because this might be the first group I need to come up with a new word to be on par with those other words for stupidity and idiocy. Because this is way below that margin. Oh, come on. There's no way. That's bullshit. There's no way that's hitting me. What? Why is that hitting me all of a sudden? That never hits me. And also, why is that not working? I can run around that on the first-person perspective, but it doesn't work here. So, wow, they've taken away uh, another way to actually uh, get around that move, but now you just have only one way, which is to run away. That's so fucking dumb. Again! I don't... How? How the fuck is that hitting me? I don't get these problems with the first person perspective. That's happening here. Uh, what? Fucking dumb. Why do they have to put that shelf in the way? It wastes so much time and she has plenty of time to hit you with her phantom reins when she's gliding towards you. I was worried my sister and the item detection is garbage. <laughs> oh wow, wow, fucking stupid. 
This is another problem as well with the third person perspective. It messes with the item's detection. Like you have to the way you look at the item has to be different now with the third person perspective. I was worried my sisters had gotten too first. And look that that detection just then. He didn't detect this shelf immediately. So I've just lost like a half a second. And that's more than enough to allow her to get close. And what is happening with the pipe bomb right now? It's bouncing weirdly. Oh my god, that's not hitting me. I, I have to showcase that dishonesty with the third hit. Well, I, I don't need to because that second hit's already pretty bullshit. And like, you, you have to make sure that Cassandra or Bella is on the right hand side of the screen. That's the only possible way you'll know when to avoid that move because it's badly designed. How? God damn it! And look at it! Oh my god, like, why is it so random? Like, the only thing I can think of is it has to do with the way Ethan's looking, because I remember the way Ethan's model is and the direction of your camera plays a role in an attack's hitbox, which is bullshit. Look at that phantom range! Look at that phantom range, guys! You could clearly see the phantom range right there. Not once did the developers think to refine the hitboxes for this third-person mode. They just wanted to bring in sales, they wanted to supposedly help with the motion sickness that people feel with the first-person perspective, but that doesn't make any fucking sense. Why the first-person mode elicits motion sickness and not the third-person mode, I don't understand. There's no way that is the case at all. But they wanted to focus on that. It has everything to do with the camera's wobble nature. Nothing to do with the perspective. But like, they put in the third person perspective for some reason because they wanted to attract more people to this game. And they didn't once think to refine the hitboxes a lot more. And you're just seeing how shit the hitboxes are right now. You've done it now. The fucking movement screwed me. Like, this game doesn't have the same fluidity of movement like Resident Evil 2 Remake or Resident Evil 3 Remake. In those games, you could at least, like, initiate movement at the right angle, but I couldn't just then. So Ethan just stopped sprinting based on the way the camera was positioned and with the way my movement was, and he was in perfect range for Cassandra to hit him with her grab, which is bullshit. What the fuck? What is wrong with this game? I never get this problem with the first person perspective, but why is it that when I'm throwing my pipe bomb in the third person perspective, it causes the pipe bomb to bounce weirdly? What is up with that? Oh my god, how? Is it because of the weapon I'm holding? Is it because of the way Ethan's camera is positioned? Like, what is causing that? No, never mind. It has nothing to do with the weapon, it has nothing to do with the camera. It just... it screws me for no reason. No fucking reason at all. Wow! Look at that! How the hell did she hit me just then? What the fuck? Every time with these fucking hitboxes, every single one of her attacks has a shitty hitbox! Like, why do they let you dodge the first two hits if she's gonna hit you with the third hit? It makes no sense. Garbage. There's no skill with this fight at all. They just wanted this fight to be fucking awkward. And they made it even more awkward on the third person perspective. Hey, look at that, did you, did you see any possible way for me to get away? I had the same exact timing, but she just got a lot more forward momentum this time. And people want to say, oh, not every attack needs to be crouched under, this and that. Like, it's somehow skillful. Like, this is somehow what a realistic scenario would play out as. Like, this is what any normal person would do with this kind of attack. What a dumb fight. And these hitboxes just further elucidate how shit this fight is. And how fucking retarded the developers were when designing this game.
What? Come on, that didn't even touch me! Fuck, come on! You can even see how much range she gets with that! There's a reason why I say this move is 100% bullshit! The, the times where she just tracks you down for no reason with that move, and the times where she doesn't, it's so inconsistent! So she could have chosen to just zoom, like, to some other spot, or zoom towards me, and there's no way to get away from it. And the third-person perspective only confirms how bullshit this move is. Whoa, what the fuck was that?! What the hell just happened?! She somehow got dislodged from her initial position, and so when she transformed, she was somehow right next to me! What the fuck? What the fuck? You would be able to dodge that or avoid that on the first person perspective, but you can't do it anymore. You can't do it anymore on the third person perspective. That room is broken now. Every fucking time, I'm trying to do the same thing I always do on, in the first-person perspective. She just catches me here! I don't know what the fuck they've done, but they've done something to the tracking on that move. Or maybe it's just the way they programmed Ethan's hitbox on this third-person mode. But I cannot avoid it the same way anymore! It's fucking broken! Like, see that? Why am I able to do it here, yet I can't do it in the third-person perspective? What the fuck have they done to that move to make it worse on the third-person perspective? And now I'm gonna have to force myself to use the geometry to avoid this move that worked as intended in the first-person perspective. And the way you avoid this move is you stand on the right-hand side, and then you run to the left at a certain point. That's how this has always worked. But now, all of a sudden, either she's tracking you down the entire time, or the hitbox on her move is broken, or the actual modeling on Ethan's model is greater than you think. Like, there's invisible collision somewhere on Ethan's model that is causing him to be hit by that move because of the change in the camera perspective. I don't understand. And it's not just isolated to this move alone. Many other moves that the enemies do, like attacks that you would normally be able to avoid on the first person mode, all of a sudden you can't now. And they have evidence of this happening. It's fucking bullshit. Why the fuck would the developers think implementing a new camera perspective is a good idea when they can't even refine it very well? So that you're not causing more broken designs to be apparent. This mode should never have existed in the first place. And they want to say they value their fans? Well, how about you value your game first? Before you decide to value your fans, you fucking retarded developers. <laughs> Yet again. In the same room. At almost the same range. I did... My method for avoiding that jump attack, and it worked on the first-person perspective, but if I do the same thing in the third-person perspective, it doesn't work. What's the fucking difference? What is the fucking difference? Why the fuck does the camera perspective have any impact on the hitbox of the move? <laughs> oh my god, I'm at my wit's end with new Capcom right now. I really am. Like... I was so lenient on this game a bit, but I, I don't know, because th this is honestly the most broken and most feeble Resident Evil game in all of existence, with the stupidest development team ever, who could not make good gameplay that's actually refined and properly playtested, a story that actually feels like it has lore and actual thought and integrity and it just and instead it just violates so much of the lore established in Resident Evil 7 and then it tries to connect to the other Resident Evil games in the stupidest way as possible and there's a shitty DLC with Shadows of Rose and it's the worst Resident Evil DLC ever just the, the the negatives just don't end with this game at all
You're like, look at that. Even at point blank range, when my reticle is even on his head, it just it doesn't even knock him over. Like this this whole system of just removing the knockback on the shotgun on Village of Shadows difficulty just causes the gameplay to be a lot more awkward. You're gonna get screwed so easily by how the game doesn't prioritize the right body part a lot of the times when you're using the shotgun. Like, he did the wrong flinch animation just then, so he could have easily attacked me if he, say, for instance, had his weapon out, and I'm just waiting for the shotgun to be ready, all because they had to remove the shotgun knockback for no reason. Why? Why would they do that on Village of Shadows difficulty?